Hello and thanks for making your purchase of your new Rampant Design Tools product. This quick tip is designed to get you up and running as quickly as possible. Let me show you why Rampant Design Tools QuickTime based elements are going to not only make your composites look fantastic, but they're going to speed up your effects workflow. Transfer modes, or blend modes as they're referred to in some applications, are what we're going to use to get you going in the right direction. Okay, so let's take a look at Premiere Pro. What I'm going to do is simply Command and Tab into Premiere Pro. Obviously, that's an Alt and Tab for all my Windows friends out there. And I'm simply going to take my video clip or my background. I'm going to drag and drop it down into my composition. Sure, I'm going to change the sequence settings to match the clip that I just dropped in there. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on my timeline. And all I'm going to do now is simply take my Rampant Design Tools Film Element. I'm going to take it and drag and drop it right down onto the layer above. Now, of course, we just want to have this all line up just like such. And now I'm ready to go in and I'm ready to remove the white from this element. But Luma Key is not something you'd want to use in this situation. I always find Luma Keys to be a bit messy, especially on gradients. So let's go back to our transfer modes. What I'm going to do is simply double click on the clip. I'm going to navigate to effects controls. I'm going to come to opacity and I'm simply going to change the blend mode from normal to multiply. And guess what? This element is now ready to be used in any project. I happen to be working on. Now what if the situation was a little bit different? What if instead of wanting to remove white, we needed to remove black as a background element, such as in the case of Rampant Design's Cinematic Dust Effects element, another fantastic product. What I'm going to do is simply take that element, I'm going to drag and drop it down into my sequence. Again, we're just going to crop the end of it back here, and you can see what we need to do now is to remove the black from this and leave the awesome dust effects element. So how do we do that? Again, we're going to double click on the clip, we're going to navigate up to opacity, we're going to twirl that down, but this time instead of using multiply, we're simply going to use add. And you can see once we've switched it over to add, we can come right back to the beginning and hit play, and we now have that element looking awesome over top of our footage. So if you have any questions, you have any comments, or you have any tutorial requests, you can head on over and post them in the Rampant Design Tools forums.